five sneaky ways to find content gaps and simple tips to fix them now you could be a great writer and you could write great content but the problem is content gaps what are content gaps well content gaps are areas that your reader would love to see some content on but you're not providing it in this video i'm going to show you how to find those content gaps and more importantly i'm going to show you how to fix them so that you get more readers now if you haven't subscribed so far please do so click that button down there turn it from red to gray and don't forget to ring the bell turn on all bell notifications so you're notified each and every time i go live this video is going to help you fix those content gaps your content is one of the basics of your business those businesses that don't have content that don't have blogs that don't have videos that don't have reviews that don't have any of this stuff are going to be left in the dust so if you're not doing any of this now you need to do it your content gap may be that you don't have any content so you need to get on that and get started as quickly as possible i know it seems like a huge mountain to have to climb but the point is if you do a little bit each day or a little bit each week it's going to build and overall you're going to have more business and that's what you want to do now according to hrefs there are 31,000 keywords that get over a hundred thousand searches a month that's a bunch that's a lot to cover but here's the scary part there are over 200,000 keywords that get between 10 and 1,000 searches a month so that's a lot of keywords to cover and the key to this is figuring out which ones you're missing now why is this so important well the first thing it's going to do for you is going to improve your seo if you cover more areas it's going to give you better chances to get on page one and that's what most readers say is that they only go to page one of the search results in addition to that it's going to help you build a better relationship with your end user and user of your content and this is important because 64 percent of the people surveyed said that they actually have a relationship with their brand in addition to that it's going to give a more optimized journey for the reader or viewer of your content they're going to feel like they're more in sync with you because they're getting all of their itches scratched so let's talk a little bit about the different types of content gaps the first content gap would be keyword gaps keywords that you're not serving now there's a lot of tools out there that will help you find good keywords but the simple and easiest one is the google keyword tool you could use this for free by logging into your account it will help you find more keywords that are being searched for and you can search by volume on related keywords the next type of gap is media gaps um, so you may have a great blog and you may have a lot of people reading it but do you have videos videos is another area that you need to have content in so this content gap could actually be a type of media that you're not producing maybe you could turn some of those articles you have on your site into videos or vice versa maybe you could turn some of those videos into articles Google says that over the past two years there's been five times as much watch related content on products okay so we know where the gaps are now we know what they could be let's talk about fixing them the first thing you can do number one is to run a content gap analysis you can use a tool like uber suggest and actually go in there and try to figure out where your content gaps are this is a paid service however you could run it once if you want maybe go for a month or two months get all your stuff fixed and then you could drop that service if you wanted to i don't recommend dropping it it's a good service i'm just saying if you don't want to spend a lot of money and pay for it every month if you're not going to use it every month you could just sign up for it and use it when you do need it number two you could manually search your competitors to find gaps in your content look at what they're doing what are they publishing what are they writing about are they doing videos and if so what are those videos on you can look at your competitors and figure out a lot of gaps that you currently have in your content that you don't even know it's really a simple process make a list of all your competitors and once you've done so go through their content look at their videos look at their channels look at their blog make a list of the content that you see in their sites that you do not have in your site accumulate all of that and get to work and start filling in those gaps you can also use number three which is use google console google console can help you find these content gaps let me walk you through it real quick first thing you want to do is log into your google console once you've done that you want to click on search results on the left hand side of the page next you want to click the plus new next to search type and date range which you can actually modify to match whatever you want 
when that box pops up just click page enter the urls for your top performing pages one at a time when the results populate see what keywords you're ranking for on that page go to the page of your website or in your cms and search for all of your top keywords from search console either top clicks or impressions finally go to the post on your website and make sure the content is related to your top performing keywords odds are some of the keywords you rank for will not actually be covered on the page once you identify the keywords you're ranking for that are not covered on the page create content that does by either creating a new post or adding a section to your existing one number four you can perform a self content audit what is that well that's looking for gaps in your page your website that you already have out there and i think certain things you can add to it which will give you content that you don't always think about like a frequently asked question page you can add a lot of content in there that can actually come up in the seo results people don't think of it that way they just think of it as a question and answer page but you can optimize that page to where those questions and answers are actually going to give you you good SEO in addition to that what about reviews reviews are great if you can get enough reviews on your products and there's a whole lot of different ways to do that and a whole lot of softwares to do that but those reviews on your products can actually be SEO would also and that can help you in the rankings immensely think about all the people who look at these reviews it's been proven that 72 percent of the people read the reviews before they buy a product especially if it's a high price product so if you've got a product out there and it doesn't have any reviews that's the first thing you need to do is get reviews because that is actually a content gap that you may not have been thinking of number five hire an seo team and I say team, I don't mean one person. I know that you can go to Upwork, you can go to Fiverr, you can go to freelancer.com and you can find people to work on your SEO, but you actually need to manage these people. And that's very difficult. We recently started working on our SEO on Survival K Food. You can see that right here. And we realized that one person wasn't gonna be able to do it because one person would actually do the work, but there was nobody actually to oversee it. Having an SEO team, having somebody that can actually farm out all that information to all these different people really is helpful now what they do is they actually do the keywords and the meta titles and the descriptions and all that I always go in and I check behind them and make sure that the English is right and we're saying what we want to say but it's nice to have them organize it and put it on Excel spreadsheets so that I can read it and see what needs to get done and then we can farm it out to other people they may suggest that we write some blogs on particular subjects I can figure out what that is I can farm that out to other people and have them write the blogs also so you really need to have an entire team in the beginning you may not be able to do this you may have to do everything yourself but if you're in a position right now where you're actually making sales and you have some income you need to start plowing it back into your business nothing would be more uh, economically uh, reasonable than to take that money you have and put it back in your business because it's just going to grow your business um, using content to grow your business is great because it's basically free outside of the fact that somebody's got to write it um, free content out there is going to get you rankings and SEO it's going to get you more customers and it's going to get you more brand loyalty I hope this helped you out I hope you understand this a little bit better now uh, I know you'll get good results if you use all the tips I gave you but if you have any other questions feel free to put them in the comment section and I'll be happy to come back and answer those for you maybe you just want to say hello in the comment section you can do that too that would be great Don't don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so so far hit that red button down there turn it gray don't forget to ring the bell turn on all bell notifications so you're notified each and every time I go live or if I upload a video I'm generally going live three days a week which is normally Monday Wednesday and Friday and we have content coming out Tuesday Wednesdays and Thursdays so we're there for you every single day to help you start running grow your online business I do have a course below it's a $97 course you can get it absolutely free just click the link and learn no credit card required thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one Hey, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time I do a new video. Also, click on one of those videos there. Keep watching on my channel.